Trent Meisenheimer with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center. I'm up along the Park City Ridge Line, and I'm on a slope called the Sound of Music at a, a skier triggered avalanche just from a couple days ago. It's an east southeast facing slope at about 9,100 feet in elevation and at about 39 degrees in slope steepness. You can see right behind me the skier's tracks. He was a pretty experienced skier and knew this area well. He had about 15 turns into the slope when he felt that the snow got a little funny under his skis. And right about then, uh, the uh, slope avalanched and he was familiar with the terrain and so he tried to edge out to his left, but unfortunately the avalanche just propagated way too wide. This thing's a few hundred feet wide. And then he was caught and carried. He was dragged into some pretty significant trees he was able to deploy an airbag um, and then when the avalanche finally came to a stop he was only partially buried with his airbag deployed. He was traveling with a group of uh, two others that were still up on the ridge line. All of them were equipped with avalanche rescue gear and luckily this gentleman uh, who was partially buried down in the trees had no injuries. So a uh, really significant avalanche here but a really great outcome. So working down in our snowpack here, I've still got this just really light fluffy snow right on the surface. And then this is just fist hardness here, moving into some four finger snow. Pretty firm, especially just right above the crust here. You can see, again, the crust is just right here in the snowpack. This crust was formed on the 18th. Um, we had some high pressure for about a week before this last stormy period. The crust is right here in the snowpack. Um, you can see it just right here. And this crust has just a little bit of faceted snow right on top of it. And then after that high pressure, we stacked up about 45 inches of snow here along the Park City Ridge Line with about three inches of water. So you can see it's now settled down a little bit more into uh, the two and a half foot range. But, uh, but yeah, again, this avalanche just failing right along uh, the top of this crust here. This is where he came to a rest uh, right here and on the surface. So he was only partially buried, but uh, just as Andy was saying, just another 50 feet, some thick pines and definitely a little deeper debris. Luckily he didn't, he didn't go any further. 